As we know, Gojo successfully changed the situation by using the hollow purple in chapter 235, causing Sukuna to be affected by the explosion. As a result, the cursed king had to sacrifice one of his hands and Mahoraka. However, did Gojo truly emerge as the victor in this battle? Here's a theory that might explain the situation. After Gojo managed to explode Sukuna and Mahoraka, Kusakabe stated that Gojo had restored his reverse curse technique output with Black Flash. Thanks to this, he was able to create Hollow Purple to take down the Curse King. When Yuji heard this, he asked what it all meant. Kusakabe then answered that Gojo could be considered the winner in his battle against Sukuna. Although both of them suffered severe injuries, Sukuna's condition can be said to be more serious than Gojo's. In addition to losing one of his hands, Sukuna also experienced a decrease in his recovery abilities and lost his amplification domain. Furthermore, he also lost his trusted Shikigami, Mahoraka. However, it should be noted that Sukuna wasn't completely eradicated at that moment. Does this mean that Sukuna still has a chance to fight back? According to our knowledge, Sukuna is a highly confident individual who believes that all enemies can be defeated. However, on the other hand, he is also someone who would rather die than live after experiencing defeat. For him, losing in life is the same as death. This was revealed in his dialogue before facing Irozu. With the current situation, there's a possibility that Sukuna will surrender immediately and Gojo will only need to finish him off. Although Gojo's victory seems imminent, there's a chance that others will intervene. Remember that Sukuna has a cursed bond with Kenjaku that prevents him from defying that cursed brain. If Sukuna is eventually defeated completely, it's highly likely that Kenjaku will appear to intervene and absorb the Curse King. This possibility has occurred before when Kenjaku absorbed Mahito after he was defeated by Yuji. The issue is that if Kenjaku successfully absorbs Sukuna, he will become much stronger than Gojo, who has weakened due to the previous battle. However, Kenjaku might not choose to kill Gojo because he might not want to deal with the future generation of Six Eyes Wielders again. Instead, he might seek other ways to keep Gojo under control, or his own Six Eyes organ could be at risk of being taken. From all the points above, whether Gojo truly wins or survives depends on two factors. First, Sukuna's own attitude. If he indeed prefers death over life after defeat, then Gojo's victory should be assured. Second, the possibility of external intervention from others. Although Gojo may have won the battle, he could still become a target of Kenjaku's plan to absorb Sukuna, similar to what happened with Mahito. Furthermore, Gojo might face other dangers that we are not yet aware of. This is just a theory for now, and we will see further developments in the Jujutsu Kaisen manga. What are your thoughts on this theory? Feel free to share your comments in the comment section.